Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm back with another episode on the TazCraft server. It is episode 6. Uh, yeah. And today I want to get started on farms. Like, really big farms, and also our base. I do want to actually, like, get started on our base this episode, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but why not? Now, I don't know if I ever actually showed this, but what I've been doing is I've been making a little mine cart that takes us down to our mine. Uh, just thought that I should show this really fast. Um, so yeah, it's just it's nice and quick, and it's easy. Um, and then, of course, you can hit this button to go back up. Now, the nice thing about this is, let's say I'm in a hurry, and I just fly down like this, which I just found out I could do the other day, and you go here so you don't crash and die. Uh, you can press this button, and a signal you can see right there uh, will be sent up to send the minecart back down, which I found pretty cool. Uh, I'm also trying to hook it up so that you can do it the reverse way, but I feel like I'll never use it the reverse way anyways. Um, so yeah, but I just thought that I should, should mention that really fast. Uh, let, let's clear up this area though, get some grass. I also like the fact that I have my chest somewhat organized now. But yeah, I still can't find my grass. Where is where is my grass? So anyways though, um, the first farm that I do want to build, and I don't know how many we're going to get through today, uh, but the first one I want to do is a drown farm, because I really want to sell and get at least a trident, and I think I know exactly where to build it too. Now, I'm not sure how many people actually keep up with the series and how long people have been watching, but I bet a few of you recognize this place. Um, and if you don't, basically this is where I've died many times because of people with tridents, because there's a shipwreck there, and there's a bunch of ruins around, like this one, that one. Man, this seaweed has really grown around it. Uh, but anyway, so a lot of drowns spawn around here. And, man, I have died so many times. Uh, so, let's, I think that this would be probably the best place to start. Um, I have built one of these before, but I got nothing. Like, I got no drowns at all. It was a very bad place to build it. So, I think here would be probably our best bet. Man, I really have to get better at, like, making sure that you guys know what's happening. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to get stone the not stone the, the prismarine blocks or whatever they're called um so that i can make a conduit um so i was doing that and i found a, a temple of a monument temple whatever it's called um and i go and i die which sucks so i'm just popping over to try to bear his base taking his elytra that he lets anyone use and I'm also going to steal a stack of rockets. I, I, I'll pay for these later, maybe, if I remember, hopefully. Um, and I'm going to go do my best to get my stuff back. I did leave some stuff in a chest, but all my gear and whatnot is still in the ocean. So here we are. I should hopefully be able to just get my stuff and get out of here. Oh, okay. Where is my stuff even? Okay, well, there's some XP. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's just, 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 just gonna do that. And then let's go back in and just get other finishing stuff. I think this is actually going pretty good. Ooh, ooh, yep, yep, I like this. <laughs> oh, I escaped with half a heart. Ooh. Oh, that was so scary. Ooh. Ooh. Mini heart attack there. Okay. Oh, I don't have any more spare elytras, so that would have been bad. Well, that was a real struggle, but finally we got 15 pieces. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's just enough to do one loop around it, which I will help us out, but uh, it, it sucks. I'm I'm not gonna lie. No way. I am one short. I am so upset right now. Maybe sea lanterns work? Question mark? Because here's one. 
Oh, and I... Oh, no, I didn't leave my pick. I, I was scared of my pick there for a second, but definitely grab that. But if I'm one short, I'm going to be so upset. Ugh. Oh, once again, half a heart. Oh, that is so terrifying. Whew. Yes, I've done it. I have finally made one. Oh, that was all. Oh. Are you kidding? I am very upset right now. Oh my gosh, that's all we needed. Oh, I'm so upset right now. All right, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear down all of this monument. Or not monument, temple. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's not temple or monument. Uh, just ruins. Ruins. That's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna tear them all down so that um, the view of our little thing will not be disturbed with this in the way, so that the drowns will be able to see us or the turtle egg or forget exactly how it works. Um, oh no, it's a villager. Oh, we're gonna use turtle eggs. It'll be fine. Anyway, um, and then I'll get actually started on the real farm. Well, this place looks a lot different now, as you guys can see. I took out every single ruin, uh, and I also took out the big shipwreck that was over here. Um, so now I think it's time to get started on the actual farm. Uh, we're going off of El Mango's design, so let's get started. So here's the thing. I can either continue with this farm after I've spent like an hour clearing this place out. Actually, not an hour, more like 45 minutes, but still. Um, so I can continue. Or I can make a much, much better farm in a river biome that that would like, get us many more tridents. And I kind of want to go for that. So we're just going to leave this place, I guess. I, sh I should probably take my conduit. Because uh, I haven't seen many drowns at all spawning while I've been working on this. Which is really disappointing. Um, so yeah, yeah let, let's just move on to a different one, actually. So this new design is in a river biome, as I think I already said. And what is this? A river biome. So right here should be great. Um, it's really high up in the sky, so it won't be seen too easily. I don't think they did. It's going to be noticeable, but not terribly noticeable. Um, so I'd say right here would be good. We're not making it as big as it's supposed to be, because I don't think we need it as big as it's supposed to be. Um, so let's, let's get started. I have so much scaffolding because you have to get to like Y200 or something. So we're just going to go to build limit and hopefully we'll be good. <laughs> so we're not quite at build height. Uh, we're at 200 right now, uh, but this does go all the way up to build height right there. Um, there's also another platform at 250. Uh, that's where the water is actually going to go. And I still haven't really explained the model, but I don't know how because there's no world download and thus I don't want to be copyright El Mango because that that's not fun. So this is what we have currently and I'm pretty proud of like the progress that I've actually made. Um, so the water falling down you guys have already seen that but now we have this glass with um, the gates like right underneath the water. Uh, so now all the water is going down right now and you can see all the salmon spawning. Um, I found out that drowns only spawn in light levels below 7 like every other mod. For some reason, I thought it didn't matter for them. Uh, but yeah, at least salmon are spawning, and I have seen drowns, and I, as you guys saw earlier with the trident guy, which is really, really good. Um, so now, now it's just the killing chamber, I think, which isn't that hard. I don't, I, I don't think, question, question mark? Hopefully not. Yeah, so the killing chamber is actually really, really easy. Problem is that we have to cover all of this in glass, basically, like make a glass platform. Oh, man, we are going to be out of glass. We're going to have to smelt a lot more. Luckily, with our super smelter, that isn't a big issue. But not not preferred. <laughs> well, if we look in this chest, you can see that we have a, this much glass left, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, but if we go over here, you can see that the bottom platform has been filled up with glass, which is really good. Uh, so we're almost done. I think the last thing I have to do is make a big, uh, basically some cover that makes it so that this farm is always dark, so drones will always be spawning. Um, and I think I think that's it. Let's let's kill. Let's make the killing chamber actually first. But I mean that that's about it, honestly. 
All right, so it took me a little bit because I actually went to find a village and I got a silk touch book. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, but we got a fish, not a fish egg, what? What? A turtle egg uh, as our little bait, and that means that we have our whole thing hooked up. I did not place this right in the middle uh, because if we ever want to expand it, like, you know, over there, um, then yeah, we're gonna go this way. So I think this is a good place to put it. Um, and then if we head down here, you know, you know how it works. Uh, we're not gonna get any drowns though because it's not night currently. Uh, but let's let's go put the big cover on top really fast. Well, the drown farm is officially done, um, and I was AFKing at it last night uh, just for a little bit. Uh, I'd say like I was AFK for about an hour, but if you're AFK for like three hours compared to one hour, it doesn't really matter because th this space is gonna be filled anyway. Uh, but I got two tridents, which I'm very, very excited about. And I already put Riptide on this one. They both came with Unbreaking 1. But if we just shoot off into the rain, because it's raining currently, and I, I'm, <laughs> it's just so much fun. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That is very bad. Okay, one second, guys. Oh. Oh, man, are we going to get that stuff back? I think it wouldn't be too hard because we're just running along the edge hoping that we see our stuff, but I, I don't see it. <laughs> and I'm kind of nervous right now, actually. Oh, I found it. Here we are. Yep. Oh, okay. That's a relief. I was getting a little bit nervous. Oof. All right. So because we have officially finished our trident farm, um, there's something that I should probably show you guys now. So if we just head in this direction, that's our base over there. Um, there's a nice big mountain range, but I believe it's right here. Yep, you can see there is this tunnel, and if we make ourselves a boat, you guys can probably guess what we're doing. There's ice there, obviously. Um, but you might be asking, you know, why would I want to ice track when I have Elytra. And that is because if we get to the other side, you'll see the structure right there. And if you guys, if we, if we just look, look over here and we go inside, you'll see that there is a villager that I've captured and he has a one emerald trade for mending. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been doing in my spare time. And if we go over here too, you'll see that there's another ice tunnel. Um, and that is for, of course, a boat to carry a villager. Um, and there is a nice little village over here. Uh, so we just need to get the last guy that I think is here. We're going to breed the two, and then we're going to have a nice big village. This guy over here has... Where, where is he? Oh, that, that's the house he's in. Uh, this guy has Silk Touch. He does not have it for one emerald, though, yet, which is sad, but it's all right. It, it's good for now. So we got our librarian. And as a little bonus, you can see that we're in water, we can't go up here, but if you press this button, the blocks get pushed up behind us so that we can, and then you just get shoot off the end. And that's the little cage that we have for the other guy. So we're gonna bring all these people, all these villagers uh, to our base, and then we're gonna make a nice big breeder next episode, because I got some exciting news. And I will discuss that exciting news in just one minute. But first, I just want to say that I did get the villagers over, and they're all nice and happy, which is good. So we'll start throwing in some food for them once we actually start a carrot farm. I'll probably go for a carrot farm because now, I mean, not really, but technically we have a gold farm over there. Um, oh, that's pillagers. That's not fun and fresh. Anyway, um, so I'm going to take care of these pillagers, and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys about what's going to happen in probably my next video. So here is finally the big news. This morning, I got an email from Sticky Pistons. Uh, Sticky Piston, their, their website, you should go check them out. They're cool. They're, I, they're, they're really cool, actually. Anyway, uh, but they basically said, we're going to let you have a server so that I can throw an event and invite all my Minecraft YouTube friends. And basically, we can do just, like, fun things. Um, so if you guys don't know of the Ultra Hardcore, um, Thing that went on a while ago uh, that was with some pretty cool youtubers there they're all great uh, but basically sticky pistons like got them the server to do that um, and I made the art for it just saying anyway but um, yeah they're they're letting us like basically do whatever we want with the server 
Um, so I think I'm going to be doing a capture the flag and possibly a hide and go seek and also possibly a um, crossbow wars thing like where you have like fireworks and crossbows and whatnot. Anyway, it should be really fun. Uh, so I think I'll be probably off of YouTube for a good amount of time setting everything up. I don't know how long it's going to take for like me to get out a video of it. Uh, I have to get people together, I have to set up the server, I have to do a lot of things. Uh, so I might be live streaming, but I don't know how soon I can get an episode out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get started on the <laughs> setting everything up, so goodbye guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you liked it, then please hit that like button, it really, really helps out the channel, like, tremendously. Um, also hit that subscribe button, it even helps out the channel even more, and it just brightens my day. Leave a comment if you want, because that's always fun to read. And thank you guys just so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!